Hello, beautiful people for YouTube. My name is Rachel Mooney, and today I'm talking about hunting red line. And the book, I didn't like it. In the beginning, it was amazing. It was good. And then right in the very end, I was like, that way it ends. Like, nah. So, right in the beginning of the book, there is a girl named Adeline, and her grandma just passed away in the beginning. That's the first chapter. So, her grandma left her the house where she was grew up. Well, her mom grew up in the house. And the house were like kind of like haunted. I mean, that what her mom would say. But her, her grandma was always in the attic and everything. So it kind of like two children lines. Her grandma and herself. So right at the beginning, she moved into the house where her grandma lived. And she went to the attic. And she wanted to clean everything out, see what there, what she could keep, what not to keep. And she found a box full of diaries. And the diaries have stuff about her mom's childhood and what happened to her. Because her grandma died and nobody knew how she died so that the story that nobody know how she died so these letters and what really really cool about this uh, grandma diary you can actually read it as a diary that is super cool to me so it go back to like 1944 and it's like going back to her time and she have a stalker. Her grandma have a stalker. And she had like, oh my God, what happened? She kind of found out with a stalker in a way like her grandpa knew about that man, but never seen that man. And while she, I like when she lived up the very first night, she found like different things moving around the house. So she didn't know what was going on. So she actually believed that the house was haunted, but she found out that she have a chakra too. And name the, when you go by the, what, hold on. You get the chakra point of you also. And that is pretty cool, but, we don't know his name until like late on. So they call him the Shadow Man, I believe that in name. Um so or the Shadow. That way called the Shadow. And his point of view, he knew about the the letters. He knew about everything. And he already read them a long time ago. So, when I read that part, I assumed that he was the talker from Ogama. But, turned out that Ogama had her own talker. And she fell in love with him. So, the talker want to make um her like fall in love with him or something like that pretty weird but i like it and this soccer he is very nice very kind you know because what he does for a living is he save kids for a living to be set trapped and um and there are a group of, of higher people with money like to kill kids. So um, he like to save those kids for not to be killed or anything bad happened to them. 
and that we in there for living. But at the same time, he's talking this woman, and she like kind of falling in love with him in a way because in the beginning it was creepy, but and then she like tried to wear a night outfit to go to bed in and everything. So she falling in love with him in a real way. She couldn't even like say it yet and um so right in the beginning right on the middle of the book then go to this fancy dinner to meet like um all the high people who like are lawyers and senators you know all the high people in that town because those people are very, very bad people. Those are the people who like to kill um, kids and everything. So, um, he didn't want proof that to put them away in jail. So, now Caroline have a, a um, what they call it, a bounty hunter. Like, people want to kidnap Caroline now because Caroline it was a lot of money and people want to kidnap her to sell her or to kill her for the little um royalty thing that didn't do so this is very real very complicated book but I love it um in the end she does get kidnapped in the very end of the book on the last chapter. So we don't know if she didn't be safe. We don't know if she didn't die. We don't know. So I want to read the second book because it was so good. Yeah, and I didn't get, you know, detail into the book because it was very, very weird. The book is it weird, but I love it. I gave it two souls rating just because some parts were like, oh wait, hurry up, get to the point. And some parts were like, ooh, the it good. So like right in the middle, almost the end, it was dragging a lot for me. I didn't want it to, to be done with the book. But that way I gave it a two soul rating. So, I can't wait to read the second book, but it would tell good. I tell how you recommend you read the book. You know, it is the book was dragging a little bit for me. So I got my good reads into them. Link down below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>